Hey guys, this is Sam and today I'm going to show you how to blur out the background of an image. So when you want to have the subject that is really in focus but the background all blurred out, as you often see with high quality DSLR pictures, well there's a really simple way you can do that uh, in Photoshop. So here, for example, we have the uh, picture of Johnny Depp, uh, which is our subject, and he's really in focus and you can see the background is all blurred out, so it looks really nice. Uh, chances are if you have a uh, lower end camera, like a point and shoot camera, compact cameras, uh, chances are you will not be able to get that kind of effect. But no worries, because if you do have Photoshop, there's, uh, once again, a simple way you can achieve that kind of result. So we have a second picture here, where Johnny Depp is still in focus, but the background is not as blurred out, perhaps, as we would like it to be. Okay, so to achieve this kind of result, where we will just blur out the background and not the subject, you have to follow five simple steps. Okay, so step number one is to copy your background layer because we don't want to work on uh, the layer itself, the picture itself, we want to work on a copy. Step number two is to make a selection on the main subject that you want in focus using the quick select tool. Don't worry, we'll go through the steps together through Photoshop. Uh, step number three is to refine the edges of your selection because the problem with quick select tool is that often the edges aren't the best. Step number four is to inverse your selection, because by now what we had done was to select the uh, subject that we want in focus. Uh, in this case, it's Johnny Depp, but we want to have the background blurred out, not the subject. So all what we have to do is inverse our selection. And our last step is to go to our filter menu and apply the amount of blur that suits our need with the lens blur function. All right, so let's go back to Photoshop and we'll apply step number one right now. Simply right click on your background layer and click on duplicate layer. Once you're done, you can rename uh, the duplicated layer, whichever name you want. Here, I'll just name it blur. Click OK. And you can see here we have the background and the blur layer. These are both the same, uh, same images, just a copy. Once you're done with that, you want to select the quick select tool in your panel, in the left hand side panel. So here you can see we have move tool, rectangular marquee tool and so on. You want to have the quick select tool chosen. And what a quick select tool allows you to do is to quickly build up a selection around the subject. Uh, it's really quick, it's an efficient way to work with Photoshop when you want to have a particular selection on the subject. Uh, but once again the problem is that the edges are sometimes not the best. So that's why we'll uh, refine the edges once we're done with our selection. Okay, so ha the way this works, you're just going to click and drag uh, on your subject. Okay, so you click, left click, and you keep your finger on the mouse, okay? And you're just going to drag around the subject. Okay, so quickly drag here. I'm gonna choose okay, here, you want his pocket. So you can see how it's working. It's really selecting uh, Johnny Depp and Photoshop is smart enough to see that uh, what we want is this particular area and not the background. Sometimes if your subject is of a similar color as your background, let's say uh, you're wearing a white shirt and the background is all white, well it's going to be rather hard to make a selection. Uh, but if you want to study about making selections, you feel free to look at some of my other videos. Okay, now you can see that I did select some um, areas outside of the subject. We're gonna zoom in a little bit here. So for example, you see here some parts of the palm trees have been selected. Well, there's a really easy way we can uh, deselect that. So you go back into your quick select tool. And if you look at the top here, uh, you have subtract from selection. So you, sim you can simply click on that and simply deselect. Once again, by clicking and dragging. So we don't want to have this area selected. Okay, simply hold on the space bar key if you want to quickly move around. Okay, and here I want to add uh, this selection. Going back to add selection. So choose this and this. Okay, this looks pretty good. Okay, now time to deselect this. Now a good uh, thing is to know the shortcuts for uh, the um, subtract selection tool. So it's simply Alt. So if you hold on to Alt, this will change into a minus, and then you can simply click and drag to subtract your selection. Okay, so this looks pretty decent. Let's zoom back out. So this looks good, I'm happy with that. 
So step number three is to refine our edges. Go back into your quick select tool, click on refine edge here at the top, right below the help menu. And as you can see, uh, the selection is good. Our subject, which is in white here, just to show us uh, how it works. Uh, it's good, but the edges are rough. It's not that that neat. So a good way to quickly fix that is to, uh, in your Refine Edge menu, go into Adjust Edge, and you want to adjust the smoothness and the contrast. So we'll just bring this up a little bit. Looks much better here, and the contrast. A little bit more. Okay, this looks pretty good. So here I have a smooth at 14, contrast at 28. So look at the before and the after. So now that's a really nice selection that we've got here. Once you're happy with uh, what you have, click OK. Step number four is to uh, inverse our selection because now we've got the subject, Johnny Depp selected, but that's not what we want to blur. We want to blur the whole background. So we want to blur everything except for Johnny Depp. So you right click on your image and select inverse. So now our background is selected, not Johnny Depp. Okay, so our last step is to go into our filter menu. You choose Blur, Lens Blur. You want to make sure you have Lens Blur. You don't want to have any other type of blur for this particular um, edit that we're doing here. And with the radius, you can play and this will blur out the background. So if you see here, I've already got the radius as 18. If I put it back to zero, this is our before. If I put it back to 18, I'm just going to type 18. Uh, and this looks pretty good. Now you can play with the radius if you want to have it higher, for more blur, or lower, for less blur. That's up to you. So really, it's up to your preference. If you really want to have a blurry background, go ahead and crank this up. Otherwise, if you want to have a more subtle effect, uh, usually a radius around 5 or 10 will be your best bet. Okay, so I'm happy with a radius of around, let's say, 14. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to click OK. And to deselect everything, because now it's still selected, you simply click, uh, you simply uh, use Control D. There you go. So if you uh, check out the before and the after, we've got here our background, which is blurred out. Looks really good. Um, and I'm happy with that. It looks pretty good. Now, I did this selection very quickly, just uh, for instru instructional purposes, sorry. Uh, if you're doing it on your own picture, spend a great deal of time making a really nice and neat selection. So you really want to make sure that your selection is perfect. Now, if I'm zooming in a little bit here, I can see that I did it a little bit choppily. You can see this part here was not done um, uh, really well. So once again, I did it very quickly just to show you how it's done. But if you're working on your own pictures, spend a good deal of time making a great selection, then go ahead and refine your edges, inverse the selection, and then you can apply the necessary filter that you want. All right, guys, I hope this was uh, helpful to you, and don't forget to check out my other videos.